Hello, I'm Dr. James Bogash, expert in health and longevity and creator of Bogash Life and Balance and a strong anti-advocate of artificial sweeteners. Always have been. They are just not good for us and the data consistently shows that. And this study just adds to that. Uh, I, I wish it was the nail in the coffin, but it'll never be the nail in the coffin because artificial sweeteners are everywhere. And if anything, they're more adopted now than they were even a decade ago. So the bottom line is you can't cheat mother nature. Uh, we saw this a lot with the Atkins diet in the, in the 80s, 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 90s, where people cheated by having the same kind of stuff but with artificial sweeteners, and obviously that didn't work. If artificial sweeteners worked, everybody would be running around skinny and there'd be no diabetes and obesity, and we know that if anything that's gotten worse over the years, and I am firmly convinced, firmly, strongly convinced that artificial sweeteners are playing the role. I've seen that in Mexico now, where it's disappointing that even the Pepsi, the normal Pepsi products, have artificial sweeteners in it. That has a lot to do with the soda tax, and I've covered that before. The, um, and we know that things like, um, we know that artificial sweeteners change our hunger so that if somebody's hungry all the time, it might be because artificial sweeteners are there. We know that it changes the gut microbi microbiome. It changes the way like, we respond to sweets from artificial sweeteners differently than we do to sweets from, say, honey or, or actual sugar. And we just need to get away from this need for sweet. It's okay every so often, but to have it every day, time and time again, is a problem. And so in this study, it was uh, the cohort was uh, almost 103,000 people in France. They were fouled for 7.8 years. The average age in there was about 42. Of this group, 3,358 developed cancer. Some, the, I guess the problem is that some 36, 37% of this large chunk of people used artificial sweeteners on a regular basis. That just tells you how prevalent they're in, like they're in everything. You can't buy gum these days with artificial sweeteners in it. Um, it's just crazy. And the thing that really bugs me is the whole Coke Zero or Coke, what do they change it? Like, did people really not know that Diet Coke didn't have sugar in it, that they had to rebrand it and call it Zero Coke Zero Sugar? Like, are, Gosh, I hate to say it, but are we that stupid as a society? Like, I can't seem to think it, but I can't accept that fact. But they had to rebrand for a reason. It's because they felt their consumers didn't understand that Coke Zero didn't have zero sugar. I, that one still just eludes me that people would drink it and think it had sugar. But anyway, so in this study, they found that people that were high consumers of artificial sweeteners had a 13% increased cancer risk. Again, not a big surprise because we've seen like everything builds up to this. And so this wasn't a shocker because changing the microbiome, changing hunger patterns, not fixing the problem is going to lead to other problems. And not only the fact that these are chemicals themselves, they're artificial sweeteners, they create some problems. Um, specifically, Spartame, Aspartame, or the brand name NutraSweet, was linked to 15% increased risk of cancer, and Aspartame was the most commonly consumed artificial sweetener in here. Um, Asosulfame K, Asosulfame Potassium, remember K just stands for potassium, 13% uh, increased risk. Scarily, scarily, even the, the low consumers of artificial sweeteners had um, an increased cancer risk. So it's, it, you know, you look at, oh, well, I'm not only having, you know, one can of diet can of soda today and not 15, but everybody consuming artificial sweeteners were at risk. Um, the most common intake was through diet sodas and tabletop sweeteners. So the, the little pink packets that we have um, are, were the main source of that. And the cancers that were mostly increased were obesity-related cancers, which we should be fixing with artificial sweeteners, right? Um, as well as uh, 
breast, I think breast cancer and prostate cancer are on the list as well. Some people would say, oh, well, you know, like this, this doesn't say anything. It should, it's a junk study because we, you know, these people were obese already or diabetic or had poor behaviors or they substituted. So they're drinking diet soda with their fast food meal, thinking it'll balance it all out. It doesn't matter. We have enough data from before this to know that these things disrupt our overall health. So the fact that they would increase the risk of cancer is not a big surprise. And I find, I, I would guess that as we look at this in the future, we'll continue to see that these chemicals are just not good for us. And you need to figure out how to get them out of your darn lifestyle because they're not doing you any favors. And we need to get used to things that are less sweet. As always, I'll post a link to the uh, uh, article in the description. Make sure you like this video, share it with somebody who you think needs the information, and subscribe to the channel.